Good morning, Foxes and Badgers classes. It's Mrs. Martin here, and I'm going to take you through our reading for today. So, date and title in your book for me, please. Today we are looking at Boudicca. Hopefully you all remember who Boudicca is from our topic lessons from last half term. We are going to be looking at a Celtic folk song today. So that means like a traditional song sung many, many years ago, all about Boudicca, who of course was the leader of one of the Celtic tribes. Before we have a look at our text, let's remind ourselves of some of the vocabulary that's going to come up and the meanings behind that. So the first word we're going to look at is the word splendour. Now it says the armies march in shining splendour. So that means that they thought they were really magnificent or grand. So they would have been talking about all of their wonderful armour that they were wearing. As thy groom, I'll walk with thee. So the groom here, when they're talking about them, means somebody who tends to or cares for an important person. So I wonder who you might think they will be walking with. Woods defiled by Roman raiders. Defiled means they were ruined or destroyed. So the woods were destroyed by the Romans. Her vengeful court. Vengeful means she kind of wants revenge. She wants to hurt them um, in retaliation for what they did. And if you remember correctly, Boudicca's family were hurt by the Romans and that is why he wanted to fight back. And then we have Andraste. Andraste was a warrior goddess of ancient Britain. The last word that we're going to have a look at today is scythe. Now a scythe is a tool that they would have used in the Celtic times for cutting and reaping the crop. So they didn't have machinery like we have nowadays. They'd have had to do it all manually by hand. And one of the tools they would have used is this. Okay, let's have a look then at our song. Armies march in shining splendour. Sound the call of blood and fire. Led by Britannia's defender, they raised against the Roman Empire. Boudicca, witch queen of England, as thy groom I'll walk with thee. Her daughters slain by the invaders, her family put to the sword. Woods defiled by Roman invaders, now she holds her vengeful court. Boudicca, witch queen of England, I'm your king for seven years. Horned hunter, be our saviour, the Roman eagle is soaring high into the sky. Walk proud in Andraste's favour. Save our land from being devoured by fire. At the thrice damned town of London, our wrath is soon unleashed. Blazing fires stain the horizon. The strife of death meets man and beast. Boudicca, which Queen of England, as God and Goddess, we unite. Riding on a bloodstained chariot, drawn by two enormous steeds. She, the daughter of the horned god, squatted Rome's might beneath her feet. Boudicca, which queen of England, in Andraste's name we fight. As thy husband, I will honour thee. I've sworn my oath by fire to defend my land for seven years before I bow my head to die. All invaders shall now witness me as I wield the sun god's spear. Next to my witch queen I'll ride, watching Rome's legions shake with fear. Witness the glory of Boudicca's triumph. Okay, let's have a look at this song in more detail then. So, armies march in shining splendour, sound the call of blood and fire, led by Britannia's defender, they rise, raise against the Roman Empire. But who decided that they were going to fight back against the Roman Empire? Of course, this will be the Celts. 
and Britannia's defender would be Boudicca. So we're talking about them marching against the Romans. Sound the call of blood and fire. They weren't scared about this fight. They were not scared about the war. Boudicca, which queen of England, as my queen, our walk would be. So this poem is written by a man who's willing to stay by Boudicca's side throughout all of this. Her daughters slayed by the invaders. So remember we spoke about how the Romans had hurt her family and that was why she was fighting back. Her family put to the sword, woods defiled by Roman raiders. So the Romans had destroyed the forests. Now she holds her vengeful court. So she of course wanted revenge for what had happened to her. Horn hunter be our saviour, the Roman eagle is soaring high into the sky. Walk proud in our drastic favour, save our land from being devoured by fire. So they're praying to one of their many goddesses that they had to be on their side and to help them win this battle. Riding on a blood-stained chariot. Now remember those chariots were um, on wheels pulled along by horses and it would be blood-stained because of all the victims from previous battles. Drawn by two enormous steeds. What do you think steeds would mean? Uh, that would be the horses, wouldn't it? So the daughter of the horned god squashes Rome's might beneath her feet. So we're not saying that she's literally squashing Rome beneath her feet. So we're saying this as, as almost like a metaphor that she's destroying Rome almost as easily as if she could just squash it by standing on it. And she's got such a, a big army, so many fighters, and actually they're winning against Rome, which was very rare. As thy husband, I will honour thee. He's going to fight beside her. I've sworn my oath by fire to defend my land for seven years before I bow my head to die. So he's going to stand by his wife. He's going to fight with her. Watching Rome's legions shake with fear. So the Roman army actually are scared. Normally the Roman army were very brave. They normally won most of their battles. So this is quite telling in this um, song that the Romans thought that they might lose. Witness the glory of Boudicca's triumph. Triumph means that she won, okay? Okay, it's your turn now to have a go at some questions linked to the song. So we have got our retrieval questions to begin with. So search for those answers within the text for me. Then you have got some songs which might require a little bit more thinking. Who would have sung this song about Boudicca? Why do you think she's called the Witch Queen, etc. So have a go at all of those for us and then please send us in your brilliant answers.